Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem number 1.34 from Irodo and that is related to kinematics. So let us first read out the problem and then we will solve the problem step by step. A balloon starts rising from the surface of the earth. The accession rate is constant and the e equal to V0. So basically let us say this is the balloon. This is the balloon we are having. Okay. And uh, this particular is going in this particular direction with the velocity of V0. That is constant velocity. Constant velocity. And due to the wind, the balloon gathers the horizontal velocity as well. That is in this direction. This is the horizontal direction and it is given that Vx is equal to Ay. And let us say this is Vy where a is constant and y is height of the ascent so this is let us say here a is constant and uh, y is the y is the height of ascent means let us say this is the earth surface and from here the distance to the balloon is y okay find how the following quantities depend on the height of the ascent so first problem it is asking to find the horizontal drift of the balloon that is x as a function of y so let us say if we write the velocity vector at any instant of time then we can write it as velocity in the x direction i cap plus velocity in the y direction j cap okay and it is given that velocity in the x direction is a y i cap plus velocity in the y direction that is constant and it is v naught j cap so this is the velocity vector we are having now if we see the x component it is dependent on y if we talk about the y component it is constant so the vy we can write it as dy by dt is equal to v naught okay and if we take this dt to this side then we when we will get dy is equal to v naught times dt let us integrate from y is equal to 0 to y and integrate t is equal to 0 to t so this side the integration of 1 is nothing but y so we will get y from 0 to y and v0 is constant so we will take this v0 to outside and again the integration of 1 is t from t is equal to 0 to t so from here we got y is equal to v0 into t okay so we got y as a function of time now coming to the x component of the velocity so vx is given as ay and we can write vx as dx by dt that is equal to a y okay here it is written as the derivative with respect to time so i should have the variable which is dependent on y and we have found out the values of y here that is v naught into t so we can write dx by dt is equal to a times v naught into t okay and if we take dt to this particular side then we can write dx is equal to a into v naught into t into dt okay now both side we can integrate from x is equal to 0 to x and t is equal to 0 to t okay because from this particular point let us say this is the time instant of t is equal to 0 and the point at which it is going let us say it is t is equal to t okay and the vertical distance if we see here the position let us say y is equal to 0 and as it is going in the vertical direction so let's say it, it has moved the vertical direction by y distance and if it is going in the horizontal direction so let us say the balloon has moved by x distance so it is going from let us say 0 comma 0 to the particular point of x comma y okay so that's why I have I am writing here from x is equal to 0 to x and here also I have written that is y is equal to 0 to y. Now let us integrate the integration of 1 is x so we can write x is equal to 0 to x and here we can write a into v naught is constant and the integration of t is t square by 2 
from t is equal to 0 to t okay and so on the left side we can write x is equal to a into v naught into t square by 2 so this is the expression of x we got as a function of time but in the problem it is asking to find the horizontal drift that is x as a of the balloon x as a function of y okay so if we write the expression of the drift as a function of y then we can write it as a v naught by 2 and we can substitute the value of t from here we can write t is equal to y divided by v naught and let us substitute the value of t from here we will get y divided by v naught whole square and from here we will get the expression of x as a function of y is equal to a times v naught into y square by 2 into v naught square so from here we will get a times y square divided by 2 v naught okay so this is the value of x we got as a function of y is equal to a y square divided by 2 v naught okay now coming to the second part of the problem in the second part it is asking to find the total tangential and normal acceleration of the balloon so let us say if the balloon is going in some curvilinear path or the straight line so let us say b part for example let us say the balloon is going in this particular path let us consider the general thing that is curvilinear path so at this particular point the velocity will be tangential to that curve okay and the well if the, the acceleration in the velocity direction that will be the tangential direction and the acceleration which is perpendicular to the velocity that we can say it as the normal acceleration and what is the velocity that is ten in the tangential direction that is the total velocity okay so we can write uh, the net velocity vector is equal to vx i cap plus vy j cap okay and we have found out the value of vx that is given as that is given as a into y and y we have found out v naught t so it is we can write a into v naught t times i cap plus the y component velocity is v naught j cap so the value of the total net acceleration vector com magnitude we can write it as a v naught t whole square plus v naught whole square under root so from here we can write a t whole square into v naught square plus v naught square let us take the v naught square as a common so we will get to 1 plus a square t square under root so this is the expression of the uh, magnitude of the net velocity we got okay which is in the tangential direction now if we write the value of the tangential acceleration that we can write it as rate of change of velocity okay so we can write d by dt of v naught into 1 plus a square t square under root so if we differentiate this particular expression we will get v naught differentiation of square root is 1 upon 2 times 1 plus a square t square under root and the differentiation of the component that is inside the square root is the differentiation of 1 is 0 plus differentiation of a square t square is 2a t 2a square t because a square is constant and the differentiation of t square is 2t so we can write 2a square t so this is the expression of the tangential acceleration we got so we can write a t is equal to 2 2 will get cancelled so we will get a square t v naught whole divided by 1 plus a square t square under root now if we want to write uh, the tangential acceleration as a function of y that also we can write we can substitute the value of uh, uh, t from this particular expression and then we can get the tangential acceleration as the function of y also okay all right so let us say the total acceleration what is the total acceleration is given so we have the velocity vector that is equal to 
velocity vector is given as a v naught t i cap a v naught t i cap plus v naught j cap so we can write uh, derivative of the velocity vector is equal to acceleration vector that we can write it as derivative of t by dt of a v naught t i cap plus v naught j cap so if we do the differentiation of a v naught t we can get a v naught so this is the value of the acceleration vector we got so that means if we consider the magnitude of the total acceleration then we can get it as a v naught now the normal component of the acceleration whole square plus the tangential component acceleration whole square we can write it as total acceleration magnitude whole square okay then we can write the normal component of acceleration whole square is equal to total acceleration whole square minus tangential acceleration whole square so that we can write it as a square v naught square a minus what is a t a t is given as a square t v naught so we will get a to the power 4 t square v naught square whole divided by 1 plus a square t square a square t square so from here we will get a square v naught square plus a to the power 4 t square v naught square minus a to the power 4 t square v naught square whole divided by 1 plus a square t square so from here we will get the normal component of acceleration whole square is equal to a square v naught square divided by 1 plus a square t square so from here we will get the normal component of acceleration is equal to a times v naught whole divided by 1 plus a square t square under root okay so this is the expression of the normal acceleration and the tangential acceleration we have got i hope uh, the entire procedure is clear thank you